Hey everybody, Galusia here, bringing you another one of my Pokemon card openings. And today I've got a really good one for you because I've got 36, you can't even see them all, they're all laid across my desk, but you can't even see all of them. I've got 36 packs of Rebel Clash. Um, and for those of you that are following me, Rebel Clash was the first... Oops. Rebel Clash was the first Pokemon set that I started working on when I got back into Pokemon trading card game. And so it's my largest collection. It's almost done. Um, except for like, you know, the super secret ultra rare type stuff, which that's going to be the hard stuff to find. But most of like the commons, uncommons, and like the regular rares, like those are mostly done. So... I wanted to take at least one more crack at this and get a full box of boosters. So I'm going to try to bring the energy as best as I can. But for those of you that watch my gaming videos, you are already aware of the fact that I have to record a lot of my videos in... I have to record all my videos either like really early in the morning or really late at night because <clears throat> I typically do these either, well it doesn't really matter if it's on my day off or not. Um, I want to, if it's not on my day off and it's a work day then I have to get ready for work. So I need to get up like super early. And if it is a day off, then the idea is to spend pretty much the whole day with my family if I can avoid it. So I try to get these done usually in the morning, not at night. Usually it's in the morning. Usually at night I'm either straight to bed or, you know, watching a movie with the wife or something. So, I apologize ahead of time for my voice being a little bit more, you know, like melancholy. Because I definitely like to bring the energy <laughs> for you guys, but I don't, um, wow, that's a really thick card. That's weird. I, I would have swore that there were two cards stuck together. It was so thick. Um, but yeah, I don't want to obviously wake anybody up if I can avoid it. But if I get like a rainbow rare or something, like I may end up waking them up. So We'll have to wait and see. Oh, I don't have him yet. I'll take it. So at the end of the video, I will do an update that will show the um, collection before and after, basically. The idea is like... Not card for card, obviously, but um, the idea is that I'll show you my app that I use for organizing my Pokemon cards, and the app will show you, like, how many cards I have and, like, the percentage of completion and stuff like that, so... Um, which I think is 68% right now. But um, for the commons and uncommons, I'm missing one common and I'm missing two uncommons. Oh. A little V action there. I don't have that one. Very nice. Mr. Dabool. But yeah, so. 
Um, that's it for the commons and uncommons. One common, two uncommons. And then after that, it's just like rares and stuff like that. I only have one of the 17 of like the... Like secret, you know, rainbow rare type stuffs. Um, I got the trainer, Oleana, uh, during our live stream, but God, some of these cards, I'm like losing my mind. Some of them feel thick. It's the weirdest thing. Like, I swear to you, like, they feel thick. Like, there's something off about it. And I don't understand. Man, even, I'm even getting reverse hollows that I already have. That's kind of brutal. But of all the cards that I've opened, I've definitely opened the most uh, Rebel Clash for sure. So, which is <laughs> why they're the most complete complexion I have. That's generally how that works. The more cards you open, the more complete your collection is going to be. Get out of here. So I have some other... God, I gotta stop hitting this camera. You, you guys have no idea how dumb this camera setup is. I need to get a proper tripod, hopefully before the next live stream, but... No, for sure before the next live stream, but hopefully before the next recording. Um, so... Because it's really dumb. It, like, sticks out and, like, hits my chest, basically. That's why I constantly bump it. I have to lean forward in, like, a super awkward way to avoid hitting it. But anyway, I have some good stuff planned. Uh, ooh. Ooh. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that is one of my missing cards. And it's a reverse hollow. So that's cool. I also don't have him. Okay, we're getting somewhere. But I'm pretty sure I don't have Flapple. And so to get the reverse hollow of the card that you're missing, I'll take that for sure. I mean, any... I mean, reverse hollows are cool regardless, but like any reverse hollow... What the heck is with this pack? Oh, jeez. Louise, I don't want to bend the cards. Cut the top off of this one. Holy heck. Uh, any reverse hollow of a rare is always a good thing, obviously. But especially if it's something that I don't have. So the way that my collection works, like, obviously, if I could, I would want the full collection of all the cards, both regular uh, and reverse. And, you know, like, every... Jesus. It's fucking here. Every variant that I could possibly get of it, you know? But my ultimate goal is just to at least have one of each card. So, like, in my collection, when I say that I'm missing one common and two uncommons, some of those cards, I'm actually missing a few more than that of regulars. Because some of them I have the reverse hollows, but not, like, the regular version of it. So, um, that is, like, that's where my logic you know, comes from on that. Because um, as long as you have something, uh, then in my eyes, it still counts as being a part of the uh, collection. So, But yeah, so coming down the pipeline here, I have, I found someone that was selling a very reasonably priced uh, Darkness of Blaze packs. Um, but they're a, a reputable seller because I always worry about buying individual packs. Uh, and you should be careful of that too if you're buying them from any online source, another Ninetales. 
Um, because some people try to cheat the system a little bit. They're weighing their packs, and if they do these, like, you know, um, you know, rather than selling like a sealed booster box, um, they're selling individual packs. Then you want to be concerned about them weighing them and trying to remove any packs that weigh in on a slightly heavy, right? So I'm always weary about buying individual packs, but this came from a very reputable seller that has a lot of very positive reviews. Um, so anyway, so I bought 14 Darkness of Blaze. I don't have the reverse of Boss Order yet, I don't think. And boom, another V that I don't have. Let's go. Hell yes. All right. Another V that I don't have. Okay, I'm back. I had to go help my wife with something really quick. So, anyway, yeah. So, I have uh, a whole bunch of Darkness of Blaze. Uh, 14 of them coming from a reputable source. And then I have a hot tip. And hopefully it's in time. Um, but something that you don't always think about. You know, like there's a lot of stores out there that sell Pokemon that you don't think about selling Pokemon because it's not like they don't normally sell like toys or whatever or they're not you know it's just not the kind of put you know like we all know that like Walmart and Target are huge sources for it and then a lot of like toy stores uh, or things that are related to that will sell it um, there's a lot of like random places that sell it though so and one of those random places is Best Buy and Best Buy, um, they will actually have like just you know like um, like the the battle packs or um, or just straight up trading cards. Sometimes like they will have that stuff randomly. Um, usually you can't order it online though. Usually you have to go in store. Uh, they don't have it available on their website or app. But you can use the website or app sometimes to check inventory. So, like, when I'm going around from store to store trying to find Pokemon cards, um, which for me is pretty difficult. Like, most of the Walmarts in the area stopped selling Pokemon cards uh, or all trading cards because it was a high theft item. And uh, they just didn't want to deal with the... Oh, there we go. Hell yes. Traxicity VMAX. Booyah. I need a sleeve. I don't have any sleeves handy. Should have anticipated getting good cards. <laughs> Has a nice texture on it. That's why you always get your cards from reputable sources. This guy's obviously not weighing. He's already got two V's and a V bank. But yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, you can go on the app sometimes and check like your local stores. Like if you go on the Best Buy app, you can filter it for uh, to only show you results for the store, like a specific store, like one that's by you or whatever. Um. And so I was curious if they were going to have any, like, potential Pokemon stuff. So I popped in there and actually available online for purchase, which, again, they don't normally have their Pokemon trading card stuff available to purchase online. They might have some other Pokemon stuff, like, like plushies and stuff like that, but not trading card stuff. But they had a the new tins, uh, and they were fully in stock, and it didn't seem like there was nice Didn't seem like there was any uh, inventory issues whatsoever. So um, there's a limit. You can only, there's five per person, which that probably helps. That probably helps to keep the, you know, that's why they were um, available and in stock. Hello, kitty. <laughs> One of my cats is like rubbing on me while I'm trying to 
draw my cards. Yeah. Hello, Asana. How are you? So, um, besides the 14 Darkness of Blaze that I have coming from a reputable online source, I have 10 of the tins. Yes, they are limited five per person, but I did have a friend of mine um, order me some as well. Because I'll be honest with you, I was hoping to have at least a half a dozen for a live stream open uh, or a video. Uh oh. Oh. Look at that. I'm looking to the right because it's actually easier to see on my monitor <coughs> than it is like actually in front of me. Um, and I want to make sure it looks good. That is fantastic. We're pulling VMAX. Uh, damn near back to back. So that's exciting. Get this sleeved up. Boom. In the sleeve. Second VMAX. Coming through on this one. We still have a ton of packs to go through. Hopefully that doesn't mean that we're not getting a rainbow. Though. Let's not jinx the rainbow. Ultra rare, secret, super secret. Because <laughs> we only have one of those so far. But yeah, so 10 tins are coming down the pipeline. Uh, I, I think it said that they were going to arrive on March 14th. If that's the case, then I should have them in time to record a video for, I'll probably do just recording on that. I don't think I'll do a live stream, but it'll be, I'll be able to record that next week. Cause I'm recording this on a Tuesday, which typically, uh, like early on a Tuesday morning would be a good time for me to do a Pokemon card opening to get that done where I'm not disturbing the family. <laughs> um, so I think they'll be here in time for that. So, um, next week we should have, 10 tins because yeah like i was saying i wanted to do like a half a dozen i felt like half a dozen uh balls and like half a dozen eggs would have been good but you can only order five and then a friend of mine was like oh well, i could order you some if you want i was like well if you're gonna order them you may as well get 10 <laughs> so we'll have 10 of those to open and then the only other things that i have coming in the pipeline like things that are actually ordered that i'm actually like you know planned on is my um, battle styles, which obviously though they don't come out until March 19th. And if I understand it correctly, I have enough of these reverse hollows. If I understand it correctly, um, the supplier that I got those from will not ship them until March 19th, unfortunately. Like, and I don't know if it's because they get them on March 19th or if there's like a rule about that, whatever. Um, but on the day that they come out on March 19th, I will not likely have any. Now, there is, there's not a lot of card stores around me. There's one in the city that I live in, uh, like actual card shops, you know what I mean? Not like Target or something like that. Um, there's one in the area that I live in. And then there's one, like, in the next city over if I was, like, if I really wanted to start looking at it. And then the next city, it seems like like every city, I guess, has one. But that's kind of annoying. Um, I was thinking about going out to some of the retailers on March 19th to see if any of them were carrying uh, Battle Styles, like, on the day of release. But again, um, there's only one Walmart in my area that actually sells Pokemon cards. The rest of them have stopped selling all trading card games uh, due to them being high theft, which is such a shame that people are stealing stuff like this and it just ruins it for everybody. It's not like the most convenient Walmart for me. Like I have other ones that would be a little bit easier to drive to or whatever. Um, 
and one of them is like practically down the street from me. So what the heck? So it would have been nice to have that one sell trading cards because it would be like a four minute drive for me to set just to run over there and be like oh they don't have them and then run back um oh my gosh double pulls so um but yeah so i either want to check that out or like my local target which the target doesn't seem to have them quite as often but Another nine tails in the same string in the same video, um, but the tar the target does get stuff from time to time. So I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they had at least one uh, box of battle styles. And the Walmart, I wouldn't be surprised if they had at least one, if not more. And the Walmart, though, the Walmart seems like it tends to. Um, get more of like the the box like battle boxes and but yeah I'm really looking forward to the battle styles uh, I have to admit like I love watching um, card openings like on YouTube or whatever um, which is how I got back into trading, uh, collecting Pokemon trading card stuff anyway. Because as I've said in previous, double pull, golly, a lot of trainers. Um, as I've said in the previous videos and live streams, um, I took basically what many could consider like a 15 to 20 year break <laughs> on collecting Pokemon cards, so... But that's what got me back into it was seeing other people. But I have been avoiding any battle style openings because some of the larger uh, YouTubers that are more Pokemon focused or are completely Pokemon focused, um, like Leonhart, he has already had two videos that showcased opening um, boxes. And, you know, I assume that. You know, he gets stuff sent to him by Nintendo because he is a major influence in the world of Pokemon. And, you know, if he opens those ahead of the release, you know, that obviously helps to create more hype and make sure that there's awareness of it so that people know, like, oh, okay, March 19th is when I can get mine. I can't wait. Um, so I have to admit I have... It's a nice reverse. Another V, and it's a Nine Tails. I do not have this one yet. Hell yes, that is really pretty artwork too. When you compare it to like the regular Nine Tails, that is really pretty. Wow, nice card. All my Pokemon cards are sleeved because they're in a binder. Anyone that watched my last video knows how I keep my collection. I keep it in a binder on those, you know, standard three by three sleeves. And I find that to be the nicest way to keep my collection. So like all the V's are just sitting in that. So they're single sleeved within that. Um, but then any of the like V Maxes or Rainbows, like Secret Rares, whatever, they get sleeved during the opening when I'm doing this with you guys, and then they go in the the binder, so they're essentially double sleeved. I've been thinking about pulling out my Vs, sleeving them, and then putting them back in. Even though right now they don't have a lot of value, but down the road, those people, wow, another reverse Flapple, and I don't have that rare yet, so I will take that. Nice. Um, down the road as people, you know, like, especially like once we get into the next generation down the road, we're not doing sword and shield anymore. Um, and these cards get farther and farther removed from like the current, whatever. I think, you know, right now there's a huge, um, not just Pokemon boom. There's a huge boom for just trading cards in general. Cause like, if I go to a place like Walmart that sells a lot of like, different 
types of trading cards. And, you know, obviously I'm just looking for Pokemon, but, you know, they sell sports cards and stuff. Um, there's literally never anything. Maybe, like, one or two Magic cards or Yu-Gi-Oh. Obviously, Yu-Gi-Oh and Magic are not as hot right now as Pokemon. But all sports cards, especially football, it seems like football's the biggest. But basketball, baseball, like, it's all, like, just stupid rare right now. Um, I think part of that has to do with the pandemic and the fact that a lot of people were suddenly stuck inside, you know, and they couldn't do a lot of the outdoor activities maybe they like to do, or they couldn't go to like clubs or bars anymore. And, you know, grown people were starting to kind of feel nostalgic about hobbies they had as a kid. So they're like, Oh, I should, I mean, that's what I, I mean, I enjoyed collecting these when I was young. So younger. So, when I saw that everyone's getting into it again, I'm like, oh, yeah, that was fun. Maybe I should look into that. So I'm just as guilty as everybody else. Um, but, yeah, so I feel like since there's a huge boom right now, like partially that's a bad thing for certain values because there's so many people pulling cards right now that even cards that are like rare-er but not super rare like V-cards. There's a ton of them in circulation. Like, people, wow. <laughs> Look at that. Same pack. Okay. Um, there's a ton of people pulling cards right now. So, there's a lot of copies. A lot of people, you know, are selling off their, their copies. Or some people are trophy hunters. And, like, they're only looking for, like, really high-value cards. And they don't really care about the commons and uncommons. So, like, that's, you know... The, the, the market, if you will, is flooded on, you know, places like eBay and stuff uh, with all of these copies. So even the V cards are typically only going for like a dollar. But I think this is like an important era for Pokemon cards specifically because there was such a, a boom in it. And because it is so hard to find Pokemon cards. I think as time goes on, um, people are going to want to go back to finish their, com you know, complete their sets. You know, like if they're working on the next generation, um, they're working on their next generation, you know, let's just say like two years from now, whatever it is, and they're working on the next generation of uh, trading cards. Um, they're going to look back and say, you know, like I only need like seven or eight cards to finish my rebel class set or like i only need 10 cards to finish my vivid voltage set um you know i should start looking for singles for that and i think the demand will go up for singles at the same time that supply will go down so i think things like those v cards will increase in value with time as people want to finish up their sets so i think i'm gonna start double it's a long way to get around to saying that i think i'm gonna start double sleeving my V's, especially, I mean, I always, I sleeve any extras at all that aren't just like common or uncommon. If it's a rare, uh, even if it's a common reverse hollow, as long as it's a reverse hollow, um, they don't go in my binder, obviously. And all my commons and uncommons, which you would have seen if you watched my last video, um, they all go into my, like, just, you know, boxes. But my copies go into um, of like reverse hollows and rares and stuff like that i have a special box for her. they're all sleeved and um i was still debating if i was going to sell them or hold on to them my wife says i should hold on to them so uh you guys can comment below and let me know what you think but i think you know based on my whoop, based on my thinking that in a couple of years, people are going to be trying to complete their sets and the supply of cards is going to be reduced. Uh, I think I should hold on to them too. I don't think I should bother trying to sell any of them. Because honestly, again, like most of them, they're only worth like a dollar. You know, I think the most valuable extra, because I looked up all the values of my extra cards that were like V's or anything like that to see like if any of them were like randomly a little bit more rare. Um... <laughs> And of all the copied 
of these. So not of all my cards, obviously, because I have some valuable cards in my collection. But of all the cards that are like... Nice. Another V that I do... Man, we are pulling a lot of Vs today. I do not have this one either. Heck yes. Heck yes. Let's get a sleeve for that. Um, of all the copy Vs or rare cards or whatever that I have, when I look up the current market values on them, <laughs> the most valuable one was like three bucks. So it's like, which is cool. Any card that's worth a dollar or more, um, to me, says like, okay, there's a little bit of extra value there because, you know, like common cards are worth five, ten, ten cents a piece typically. So you're talking about ten times the value of a normal, you know, common card. All right, eleven to go. Bam. Four to the back. Boom. Pachow, 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 pachow. <laughs> Trying to quietly bring the energy. My family should start waking up soon, but I don't want to be the reason. Reverse Hollow Farfetch, then some cake. <laughs> Haven't gotten a rainbow yet. Obviously, if you buy a box of boosters, like a sealed box of boosters, your odds of getting a <clears throat> like an ultra rare, you know, like rainbow full art type card is pretty good. There should be at least one per box. There should be at least one per box, but if you're getting uh, random boosters like this, where they're meant to be hung, like these types of, like, these are the boosters, like I said before, that I found, like, in Target, and that's where they're intended to go. These, like, hard sleeve cards, they tend to um, go to stores where they're going to be hung up, you know, and so um, when I get them, and this... Group of 36 that I got, I got from the same person I bought the first 36 from. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay. That is super shiny. Gold Twin Energy. Let's get a sleeve on that and then take a closer look. We get card 209 out of 192. Well, hopefully that is not... <laughs> the, hopefully that doesn't replace my rainbow rare. I would still like to get a rainbow rare. Of all the ultra rare cards you can get, uh, Twin Energy is not super high on my list. But obviously it's still a card that I need for my com com uh, to complete my collection. But you know, like if I if I never pull, say like um, the rainbow Mister Boss, for example, like he can cost anywhere from forty to fifty dollars. So if I want to complete my set, like I'm going to have to just cough up 40, 50 bucks and just individually buy him. Whereas if I'm missing that card from my set and it goes for say 10, 12 bucks, then obviously I'd rather buy that as a single card, but still a good pull. But anyway, what I was saying <laughs> uh, before I pulled an ultra rare is that um, it is not something that you can count on or expect when you're buying random cards like this because they you don't know if some of them were pulled from one box some were pulled from another i trust this buyer because again this is the second time that i'm using them they have a lot of online sales with a lot of positive reviews so i trust that they're not trying to do anything funny with their packs and they are just legitimately sending me packs uh untampered with un you know weighed they're not trying to fish out the heavier packs, if you will, or whatever, um, and doing all of that nonsense that some places are guilty of. So um, it, it's kind of funny because in a, in a booster box, like the battle styles that I have coming, because uh, I pre-ordered two of them, um, your odds are that you'll get like one, you know, 
like ultra rare like back of the collection style card uh with something like this like you could get two or three because you don't know if he's just pulling them from random boxes to complete your order of 36 um you can get none you know what i mean like if you pull 36 boosters you should get at least one but you could get zero i don't have that one yet that's actually really good because that is early on in my set and that completes a page so that's nice um but yeah so uh, who knows but i would really love i mean the only rainbow that i have like i said out of this set is um oleana and i don't have a ton of like um there's a lot of trainers in this in the rebel class set for like the rainbow cards and stuff um and there's not, honestly, there's not a lot of, like, super sought-after cards in this. You know, like, a lot of the packs that have, like, your Charizards um, and, like, your Pikachus and stuff like that. Like, uh, like the Pikachu out of Vivid uh, or whatever. Like, that's, generally speaking, what people are looking for. Um, I'm not so hung up on Charizard. Like, obviously, Charizard is, generally speaking, the most sought-after Pokemon in any particular set like if there is a charizard especially if there's special versions of them whether it's a v max or like some kind of like rainbowed out full art or whatever like usually like he's more sought after than anything else um which is fine i understand why but like i'm not so hung up on charizard to where like i care other than the fact that it's a really valuable card so like having an extra of one of them would be nice if i just get one it's going in my set if i get an extra then obviously you could consider selling it or something if you wanted to, but honestly, I would probably just keep it. But um, yeah, this set doesn't have a lot of like really popular Pokemon or something like that in those like rainbows. Um, so I understand that the Rebel Clash is not the most sought after cards. Um, and it's probably. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, well. It's another V that I already have. That's okay, though. Um, still going to sleeve it. I think I actually, if I'm not mistaken, I think I have an extra of the Elegos V already. So I think this is another extra on top of that. So I'm getting a lot of those Vs, unfortunately. Still a lot of V pulls though. Still feel pretty good about the amount of V's and V maxes that we're pulling. Twin energy though. God, I really hope I find an actual character of some kind. Even if it's a trainer. Mr. Boss is the one that we're really looking for, but there's others. I'll take any of them other than Oleana. I mean, I'll take her too, but I already have her, so... And not a super high valuable card for her. I think she's generally only like a $15, $20 card. So that wouldn't be worth selling right now either. I would just hold on to it and hope that it goes up in a couple of years like we said. You can comment below and let me know if you think I'm crazy about that. But I, I think that with the boom right now, there's so many people trying to complete their sets. And they're gonna a lot of them are going to give up and they're going to be close. And then down the road, when they start getting nostalgic, they are going to say, oh, I should finish that set. That was that was a lot of fun. How do I find them? And, you know, some of them are going to be buying, looking for older, you know, boosters that have still survived somehow through this Pokemon apocalypse of, you know, rarity for finding uh, boosters and whatnot. But a lot of them are just going to buy singles. So I think there will be a single boom down the road here. Rise, we got my energy card out of the way. Phalanx, you masquerading weirdo. We got a thousand nuggets, squirrels, Mr. Mimes. I haven't gotten a Mr. Rhyme yet. Oh my gosh, with the double pulls. One of my favorite fish. Okay. We're getting down to it, folks. I think that there's a good chance right now that that was our ultra secret rare. And 
that we got a little bit gypped out of that one. I'm happy to get any secret rares, but with three packs remaining, I'm feeling my uh, my odds of getting another secret rare waning. Well, we've got a lot of exciting card openings coming up, and I'm really looking forward to it. So I'm still, with the tins, I watched... Uh, I watched Leonhardt open six of the newer tins. Um, he had various styles and sizes, uh, sizes, very various, uh, various styles. But I don't have that one yet, at least. But yeah, but I have um, mine are all the same. Mine are all uh, level balls because that's what was being sold at Best Buy. But for him anyway, when he was pulling them. Every one of them had two boosters of base sun and moon, which is something that I was not collecting because, like I said, I just got back into this, so I was not around when sun and moon was new. Um, so, although he obviously wasn't excited about it because, you know, I'm sure he already pretty much has that set completed and because he's such an avid collector. And there's not a ton of like super sought after cards out of the Sun and Moon base set um, that you know go for like big money or whatever. And if you already have the full completion uh, on the set at that point, I feel like he's probably just trying to look for you know rarer cards that will fetch some money. That's cool art for him. And okay, <laughs> um, but uh, I don't have them. You know, so they'll all be new to me. <laughs> so I'm actually looking forward to the Sun and Moon because that'll be my first chance since I'm going to, if they are all Sun and Moon. Like if, like, you know, assuming that he wasn't just like, it wasn't weird for him and they are, uh, they do come with, there's three boosters in each Pokeball if you don't know. Um, and this is the last pack. But um, he had two Sun and Moons and then uh, base sets and then one Sword and Shield base set in each one. And I'm still trying to complete my Sword and Shield base set, so I would be happy for that. And uh, with that many Sun and Moons, like if I have 10 balls, that's 20 boosters. Like I could actually really properly get started on a Sun and Moon base set collection. So that would kind of jumpstart me into being able to collect an older generation. So I'm all for that. So... Uh, yeah, I don't think, for me anyway, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Like, I'm looking forward to opening all those. Um, and maybe they're not all that, you know? Maybe some of the uh, tins have different cards in them. So, who knows? Okay, this is it. This is the last one. Okay, I don't have that yet, so I'll take that in a reverse. And, ha, huh. all right. Well, <laughs> that is it for the card openings, but stick around because I'm going to show you guys what my collection is before I go through and organize and look at all this stuff. And then we're going to look at it again after I organize it so that I can give you a quick snapshot of the before and after on how much more complete we got the set. And based on that, I'll let you know if I'm ever going to do another Rebel Clash opening or if I'm just going to start focusing on the other sword and shields and then just kind of filling in although i think i might do at least one more just because the only super uh the only secret rares that we got in this one was the twin energy which is a bummer let's go through them again though and see what we got let's get all the v's so for the v's today to recap we got the Elder Gross and the Pincher Chin 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 Chin, Double Santa Conda, and the Nine Tails. The Nine Tails being my favorite out of that, both because it's Nine Tails and uh, just because the art on that is awesome. So good job on the V's for those. And most of those V's, uh, with the exception of, I think, just one, are new to me. And then for the V Maxes. We've got both the uh, Dragapult and the Toxicity, Toxtricity, um, both of which, I, for some reason, the Dragapult really growing on me. Like, there's a lot of really cool card art for 
the Dragapult in various uh, sword and shield sets. So he's really grown on me. Uh, and the art on this VMAX is really cool too. And then obviously, again, our secret rare today was this golden twin energy. So, <laughs> yay. But at least we got one. Because like I was saying before, like there, there's a chance that we wouldn't even have gotten one. So I will take it. But yeah, let's. I'm going to jump over to my collection and show you what we're working with. And then that'll wrap up today's episode. Okay, so really quick, uh, this is what it looks like beforehand. So you can see I have 68% uh, of Rebel Clash complete. And again, for those of you that don't know how I do my collection, uh, that would include like if I have a reverse hollow, but I'm missing the basic card, that counts as one. But if I have both the reverse hollow and a basic card, like that's still just one. It's just, I'm just trying to complete all 209 cards in whatever form I can get them. So I'm missing one common, two uncommons, and then onward from there, eight rares, eight ultra rares, and then all the secret cards and stuff like that. So um, we will see, like I said, I'm at 142 out of 209 right now, 68%. We'll see when I finish sorting these what we end up with. So there you have it, everybody. My collection after I went through all the sorting. Uh, so I believe we were at 142 beforehand, and now we're up to 157. So we gained, it sounds like we only gained 15 cards out of 36 boosters. Um, but in actuality, I got a lot of reverses to cards that I only had the basics to, and that doesn't count as an additional card. And I even got some normal cards where I only had the reverse, and now I have both. So that doesn't add to the collection, quote unquote. The important thing is, is that I finished both my common and uncommons, got all of the common and uncommons out of the way, at least in some version, whether I have both of them. I actually, I almost have both of them for all of them. Uh, that's getting pretty completed all around. And for the normal rares, I only have four to go. I believe it was eight before I started. So we got four more of those and a few more of the ultra rares. Um, but yeah, so obviously from this point forward, it's like the secrets and stuff that is going to hold us back. 14 out of 41 for these, 2 out of 17 for those. So uh, that's where I'm going to start running into some trouble. So I don't think I'm going to buy any more like full booster boxes of this. But I do have like some random things that I bought that come with like a few, a few boosters in them. And one of them happens to be a Rebel Clash. So like I'll add into it that way. But pretty soon, I'm probably going to start looking for some singles to finish out Rebel Clash. But anyway, so there you go. That's the results from today's opening. Thanks to everybody for coming out today. And stick around because I've got a lot more Pokemon stuff coming down the pipeline. Everything that I mentioned in today's video, plus a whole bunch of other stuff that happened afterwards. And I'll have uh, an update about that soon. So thanks, everybody. And I'll see you next time.